Next, let's take a look on two more ways to import models. One would be importing models from replicate.com, the other would be importing models from Civit AI. Let's consider, for example, the far out possibility that you need to do something in Weavy, but you don't have the right model. I mean, we didn't bring the right model yet. Let's say you need to describe this video that you imported. So let's go to replicate.com and to explore, Replicate hosts thousands of models and we would like to search for a video understanding model let's go for the first one with that we find looks good i mean the input is a video the output is the description so all i need to do is copy the model name from up here go back to weavy right click and import model paste the model name and soon enough it will be ready to used to be used I'm connecting the video input into the model and I'm running it in order to get a description. Okay, soon enough we got a result. The video features a large circular spacecraft, etc., etc. Very good job done. I would highly recommend checking out Replicate, finding out anything you need to do, fetch the right model into Weavy and use it. You can always save the model that you've imported into your library, give it a meaningful name and a clear description, and you could uh, find it uh, searching or in your model list. Let's look at another option. Uh, that would be importing from Civit AI. Importing from Civit AI is a bit different because we are not copying only the model name as we did in Replicate, but we need to copy the entire URL. So let's go for Civit AI's a URL that I've pre-picked. I wanted to use this bubbly cartoon model. So I'm copying the entire URL, going back to Weavy, right-clicking, and the same as before, importing model, pasting the model name and the URL, and it will bring the model. I'm connecting my prompt and generating this very handsome sky result. Okay, we covered uh, importing from Civit AI and importing from Replicate. Both can be saved to your library and reused. See you in the next tutorial.